Hello, this is Victoria Wynn. Let's talk about introverts in business. So many people do not believe that I'm an introvert. Trust you me, I would far rather be at home and with my animals or on a farm with animals or hiking with animals <laughs> than being at a party, a networking event. I spent a good deal of money just a couple weeks ago on this big networking event. We're talking Tony Robbins, all kinds of uh, Gary V, people that I think are amazing and admire. But at the time, it was just not the day for me to go out. And you get to decide when you have those days, you don't want to go out. But is your business going to suffer because you're an introvert? Or can we tap into the gifts of the introvert and actually explode our business, really have it launch because you're an introvert? So often as an introvert, we compare ourselves to extroverts. Like, wow, they're, they're the big, loud superheroes in the world. But what are the gifts of the introvert? So I'd like you to comment below, but I'm gonna share a few that I see in myself and in the introverts that I mentor. Number one, you are a deep thinker. Chances are, instead of just launching into whatever without any thought and for mindfulness, you are thinking it through. And number two, you are feeling it through. So one, you're a deep thinker, but two, you're likely to be a deep feeler. I can tell you right now that in this day and age, there is nothing more that people want but some feeling. They wanna feel alive, they wanna feel connected to a business, and you are the person to do that because you're such a deep feeler. I know we can hire people to write our copy. It's called copy and marketing, if you don't know that term, to write basically the verbiage for your posts. But if you are a deep feeler, you're probably gonna be the one that should do the writing, even if you're not a writer, because people aren't looking for this beautifully, um, you know, professor grade, writing and copy and marketing. They want heart and they want feeling. So that would be number two. Number number one is you're a deep thinker and that matters. It's okay. It's a great, it's actually not just okay. It's great. Number three, you are likely to be a creative. Now creatives do really, really well in business for the very exact term because you're creative. Now, if you can take that creativity and turn it into being a solutions person, you are going to absolutely soar. You have to be very creative at coming up with solutions. Problems will come up all the time. It's just the nature of the beast of being a business owner. Or, and that includes doing business coaching, any kind of coaching or um, service as well. Doesn't just have to be a retail situation. Now, remember those big three. Comment below what other gifts you see in introverts or in yourself that help to launch you in business. To discuss coaching with me, visit victoriawin.com. I am a branding expert and a life and business coach. I love you guys. I hope this gives you some confidence to know that just because you're an introvert does not mean you can't highly, highly succeed in the business world. And that includes on TV. I've been on NBC, ABC, and Fox TV. There are tips and tricks to getting yourself on TV and feeling confident it's not about hair. It's not about makeup or your outfit. It's about your message. But we'll talk more about that, victoriawin.com.